Hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. I am Mare. This is Nightmare Bliss. I do unboxings, makeup, skincare, candles, uh, pet stuff, kind of lifestyle, kind of a little bit of everything with a focus on makeup and skincare, which I need to start talking about more. <laughs> I promise I will be. And um, I am an indie makeup lover. I love all indie makeup brands. I am focused on vegan and cruelty-free as well. I only use vegan makeup and cruelty-free makeup. So if that's something you're into, welcome. You're in the right place. I'm also an elder goth. I am ancient. I don't look ancient because vampires. <laughs> Speaking of vampires, what a great segue. I got... Well, let's see. Honestly, this was three different orders from Blackcraft Cult. And these are my last orders for a while from Blackcraft Cult. I think I have plenty, and my husband's about to strangle me. I cannot get any more. Also, I just, I have enough clothes. I have enough of everything. I do have one more thing coming that I got on the 40% off sale. And I am not sure when it's going to arrive, but I did get a bag because they had code witch <laughs> and they did a 40% off sale like post Halloween. The thing is like October is worse for me spending and buying stuff. October is my worst month. I got to say like September into October, that's when I go really broke and my husband's ready to strangle me. Uh, arrives. What's the date today? It's Wednesday, the 16th of November, 2022. Uh, my Siri has a British accent, by the way. <laughs> you guys are going to laugh so hard. So I ordered this. Come on, focus. That. How cute is this? It's the Pentagram diaper bag. <laughs> it's a diaper bag. And it has like this little thing for a pacifier. It has a blanket in it, though. It has this really cute blanket. Do I have a baby? No, but I have dogs that are my babies. This is my doggy diaper bag. <laughs> and it's 121 doll hairs. But they had the coupon code and all that, so I got 40% off of it. I have been wanting that thing for so long. Unfortunately, it's not in this video. If you want to see it when I get it, maybe I'll do a short and just do a one minute short to show you. But I did get, oh my God, way too much stuff. I got shoes, I've got shirts. I've got a mystery box. Are you ready? Do you have a tea? Get a tea. I should have had a tea. I don't have a tea. You need to get a tea. Pause. Don't leave the video. Just, just pause, make a tea, come back. Okay. It's a journey. So I started out with two shirts because Blackcraft called, of course, around Halloween. Leading up, they did their countdown to Halloween and every day, Damn it, I was seeing their Instagram stories. They're like, this is the sale for today. Today you get this on a special, and that's how they get you. Don't do it. Don't, okay? Anyway, they had some really cool shirts, and I got this one. I love their shirts, by the way. They're super comfortable. They're super soft. This one is, oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait. I, you know what I remember? I put this shirt in here because it's like an oddball item, so I put it in with the Black Craft Cult. Look at this shirt, though. It's actually, I need to wear this in a video. The shoulder is split, so it shows my shoulders, because if you don't know, I don't know if I could do it, I have the moon tarot card on this shoulder, and my devil doggy voodoo is on this shoulder. So you can see my tattoos with the shoulder thing. Wait, maybe I should just go put this on. Let's go put it on. <gasps> I'm not changing for camera. Hold on. I'm back wearing the shirt. And... A more appropriate headband. My Chloe Chaos headband. I love this thing. Anyway, let me see if I can stand up. So it has a witch riding a goat. And it says me in 10 years, which I thought was hilarious. Actually, that's kind of me now. But I love shirts that are cut like this where you can see my tattoos. So it's basically, it's a short sleeve shirt, but it's got the cut in it. So you can see my tattoos, which is awesome. I kind of love it. I might have to wear this shirt to the gym. <laughs> People will be like, we got a weirdo on the treadmills. Next. Okay, now we're into Black Craft Cult. So, oh, I was saying, so Notoriously Morbid, not just makeup. They are also a kind of gothy, dark, spooky online mall, so to speak. They carry Restyle, which is a brand I'm obsessed with. 
they carry um, just all kinds of decor and clothing and things. And this was actually on clearance. So I grabbed this on clearance. It was really cheap. But I love it because it's just got the like flying witchies and the a naked witch riding a black goat. I'm like, <laughs> you have to have that shirt. I mean, come on. It's awesome. So now we're into the Black Craft Cult stuff. So yeah, I remember I did set this right on top. That's why I did that. I did it like days ago. So the reason I did that is because I didn't have any other place to like share this shirt. You know, this is like the last of my spooky shirts for the year. And hopefully until next October. Um, this is another one I got. And this is a Black Craft Cult. I'm just going to go slowly. It is super, super Halloween. I have been wearing this one so much. It says, Devil's Moon Live in Concert. Black Cat Craft Cult presents a blood-soaked evening of occult heavy metal in Witch City, October 31st, 1986. And, you know, it says, like, um, Salem, Massachusetts, 253. Doors, uh, 8 p.m. Tickets, 666. So it's kind of like a Halloween concert shirt, but I just absolutely love the design on it. I love the colors, of course. I love the the goat. There's a goat in the moon, if you can see me, like, right there. And I am a Capricorn, so I love all things goat. And just this scary, like, devil guy right here. Love this one. I have been wearing the crap out of this shirt. I've been wearing it a lot. Um, this one I got because I love to scare the locals. Actually... Oh my God, every time I go out, I'm not exaggerating. Every time I go out, I get compliments. People compliment me on my hair. I had two little, young little um, gothlings see me in Wawa, and they were all like crazy piercings and crazy hair. And I was wearing one of my black craft things, and they came up and they were like, We love your hair. I'm like, And then they're like, Oh my God, we love your nails. I'm like, oh, Thank you. So I'm still thinking about doing my hair bright green. I don't know. I don't know, my husband said, oh, like, what's her name, that singer? I go, Billie Eilish. And he goes, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I hate that comparison, though. She ruined black and green hair for me. Black and green hair was my thing before she was even born. I just have to go on record as saying that. I was born in 1969. Do the math. And I had black and green hair in 2001. 2001, I had black and green and actually a hot pink stripe and black and green in my hair. So she stole it from me. She stole, bitch stole my look. So to scare the locals, I got the scary witch, let's join a coven black craft shirt. Always fun to wear into town. Always fun to wear to the grocery store and have people like all veer into other aisles when I come walking down the aisle. People, it's like one of two things. They either tend to give me a lot of distance. They don't like, they're not mean. They're more like, mm, maybe I'll just go down this aisle instead. Or they come up to me and they're like, oh, I love that shirt. Oh, I know Blackcraft. Oh, I know, I know Killstar or whatever. And they compliment me. I've had people say like, I'll wear my Teddy Fresh stuff. And they're like, oh my God, I love Teddy Fresh. Okay, so this was um, the more recent Thing that I got. That was the first things I bought. And then I had to get this one. It was almost sold out. And I'm like, oh, black craft with the scary teddy bear with the knife. This shirt is so me, it hurts. It hurts how much this is me. It's cute. It's spooky. It's vaguely a little unnerving. And you don't quite know why. When my hair is black and pink again, this is going to look really awesome. But I absolutely love this one. Scary Knife Bear. Love that. Love that for me. Uh, and the reason I got that and this stuff was when you bought a certain X amount, I forgot what it was, they had this sale and you got this long sleeve sweatshirt for free. And I was like, <sighs> yes, please. Because it is the, oh, and you know me and bats, if you saw my Halloween thing. I'm going to stand up. Look at the bat. Look at the bat. Look at the bat. Oh, my God. It's freaking bats. And this is a long sleeve sweatshirt. And, yes, I'm going to have to do a try on. 
Uh, coming in December for Vlogmas, try-ons of all my Blackcraft and all my Killstar and possibly my Teddy Fresh because I think it's hilarious because people are like, Goth, Teddy Fresh. Goth Fresh, Teddy Goth. I don't know. I, I like the juxtaposition. Anyway, um, so I love this. I got it really, really big so that it kind of goes down, covers my butt, my big old butt. But it says, Creature of the Night... And it's got the very cool creature of the night. That's me. Or at least I used to be until I got a diabetic dog that I have to wake up at 7 in the morning to give a shot to. Uh, <laughs> he's worth it. He is my bat. He's my little bat. Speaking of bats, it's bats, bats, bats. Wanted this forever. Was going to do a separate video, but I'm not. I finally... I finally fell for it. I got the um, Volume 1 Bat Mystery Box. I am really excited to see what's in here. Okay, we have... Oh, this might have to go on my wall. <gasps> oh my god, this is so cool. It's a kerchief with the bat on it. Oh my god, that is really cool. I love that. You know, I could almost... If I go this way, I could actually wear this as like a headband type of thingy with it down the back so that guy and then i got the oh my god wow there's a lot in here hey wait i thought there were supposed to be stickers in here i do not have stickers in here i thought there's supposed to be stickers well there's three shirts but no stickers and a, a kerchief the last uh the pride box and the I got two of their mystery boxes before. The Pride box was awesome. Oh my god. Eternally. Oh my god. You're like, show the shirt. Show the shirt. Look at this. It says eternally nocturnal. Oh my god. I love it. Okay, now I kind of want to do my hair red and black. Okay, I love this one. So that's the first shirt. And then, oh, cool, 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 cool. This shirt is what is on the cover of the box. So the cover of the box has the bat on it. And that is what is on this one. My husband's going to steal this. He would actually, oh, shit. I got the, I got the women's box. He can't, it's a women's cut shirt. Oh, well, too bad. I really should get him the men's one for Christmas and then we can match. Is it stupid? He's going to be like, no, we don't need to match. And this is the absolute coolest, coolest. I am so excited about this. You know, I love my hoodies. And I got this in an XL because it is like really big. Oh, so cool. It says, whoa, zip up hoodie. Okay, so it's got the little BCC and the little rose. And it's got big pockets. And it's not a pullover hoodie. It's a zip front. And it is actually feels thicker than my other ones that I got. No design on the sleeves, like the pride box and the other box I got. I got two other mystery boxes. The hoodies had designs down the sleeves. Kind of wish that this had sleeve designs, but it does have that on the back, which is pretty freaking badass. Uh, I think I love it. I think I know which one I'm going to be living in. Oh my god, it's so cool. So that is the bat mystery box i just think it's weird because i could have swore you were supposed to get stickers in it maybe they ran out of stickers i don't know but that's not all that's all the clothes are you ready for the purse and the best part the shoes um the shoes are really cool did I need more shoes? Actually, yes, I did. I've gone through my shoes in my closet, and I realized all I have is a bunch of running shoes and boots. And so I found, like, where I kind of had holes in my closet of the kinds of shoes I didn't have. Now, this purse I really, really wanted. Let me take this little sticker off. In fact, I think I'm going to change my purse over to this one, like, right now. This is, like, the tattoo, um, what's it called? The flash purse taking all the little things off of it. It's got the little... Ah! I don't want to destroy anything. Hold on. By the way, Blackcraft purses, so cool. So good. 
This is, I think, my second or third one. And I almost exclusively get either Killstar or Blackcraft Culture um, purses. I know they're expensive, but if you can ask for them for Christmas, I ask for the coffin, the purple coffin purse. My friend Jamie got me last year from Christmas for Christmas from Killstar. So, you know, ask Christmas. Just send people a wish list. They ma you can make wish lists, by the way, on most of these sites. You can send people your wish list. But here's my purse. <gasps> Ooh. So this is kind of like a tattoo flash designs. It's got little bats. It's got the kitty cats. Um, it's got little death moths, which I love. The Grim Reaper. Little uh, wait, palm, moon. What else? Rose, it looks like. A spider web. It just has everything on there. And I like that it's kind of flat, like one of those messenger bag kind of things where you can stand up. You can kind of put it across like this. And whoop, there goes my shoe. So it's across that way. Lots of space in it. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, it's got like, it's got the pockets inside. Take this out. That's good for packaging things. And always be careful if you get these silica gel things and you have pets, make sure you throw them away. Don't let your, don't drop them on the floor and let your animals eat them. It's not good. It has a zipper compartment inside. So it has a zipper and the liner is all the black craft cult pattern. So you know it's the real thing. I don't think anybody's knocking off black black craft cult purses though. They are knocking off creatures though. You can find the creatures copied everywhere from Killstar, which is crazy. I mean, personally, the reason I like them is because they're like little they're cute, but they're they're my collectible. They're like my limited edition. It's something I collect. And <laughs> Like Jeffrey Star said about his Birkins, they're an investment. So this has a big pocket in the front. It has a zipper pocket in the back. This thing is freaking epic. I am changing my winter purse over to this one, I believe. I think I'm going to do this one. Um, in December for Vlogmas, I will be showing all of my Blackcraft and my Killstar accessories and other brands. I have Betsy Johnson, uh, the bat purse from her. I have... Um, 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 Oh my god, I can't remember the name of it now. Um, oh my god, I totally forgot the name. It's right. It's on the tip of my tongue. It'll come to me. I want to say Creep Show, and it's not Creep Show. It's um, holy moly, I can't remember the name of it. It'll come to me anyway. But I have a lot of like cool accessories and cool bags, so I'll probably do a. Maybe we'll have to do ranking all of my goth purses because I have so many and I I don't know this might be this could be at the top there's another one I have in mind though that might be at the top okay so here's the coolest are you ready I am obsessed with these I've been wearing these and I love them and I don't care if it's cold I don't care if it's cold I wear them with socks and I look like a magoo I look weird but I also have um I also have little ankle socks that are f black fishnet so it's really cute <gasps> Look at the fuzzy slides with Blackcraft on them. I got the Blackcraft slides. And they're like fuzzy, fuzzy. And these are actually great for outdoor. Look at the tread on this. And they're really thick. And these things really stay on. They stay on great. I have worn these a couple of times all day long. And they don't hurt my feet. They feel really good. The arch in them is really nice. Uh, I think I sized up. No, I did not. These are an eight and a half, which is what I wear. So they're true to size because I wear an eight and a half and these are just right on me. But I absolutely love these things. And I kind of clonk around when I walk around in these, but I love the fuzzy with the open toe. If you're got some, you know, you got some cool red or black nails, it looks really good. So I got these faux fur, of course, because I don't do real fur. Who does? And they have the Black Craft Cult symbol and the things on the back. And I actually wore these out to the store and people were like looking at my feet. It was funny. Probably going, ah, get your nails done. No, I was actually wearing like these goofy little socks with them. Okay, this is, I saved the best for last. Got these on the 40% off sale. I love their boxes. This, wait. ASMR unboxing.
<laughs> I love the box. I love the... Oh, new shoe smell. Then we have, of course, the cool and neat old black craft paper. Lots of paper. Lots of paper. I did um, take... Wait a minute. Which one? This one. I did take all the stuff out of them originally because I wanted to try this on. But I got the mules. I got the quilted mules. I am in love with these. I am in love with these. They look narrow, but I have a very wide foot. These I got in a nine because these definitely looked more narrow and they fit me perfectly. So here is my gothy mule from Blackcraft. It's got the amazing, really heavy metal bat on here, the chain. More ASMR. And the quilting. And of course, this is faux. This is not real leather because I don't wear real leather, if I can help it. And it is completely lined. The whole inside is lined with this faux fur. It's black, so it's hard to see, but it's fuzzy. It's got a little fuzzy on there. And I will definitely be wearing these when I do a, um, a try-on with clothes and things like that. But I love these. I needed a pair of mules. I did not have a good pair of mules. All the ones I have either have like a big heel they're, or they're clogs, you know, they're like more like big slip on clogs that are black. And these were on sale and I just kept staring at them and I just loved them. So I got the mule. I, I just have to put it on. Uh, putting it on right now. Kind of want to wear these. Oh my God, they feel so good. Yeah, the nine, you know, I might have. I have it on. I probably could have gotten away with an eight and a half in these. I don't know if they came in half sizes, but I did get the nine because I wanted them to be a little bit roomier because in the winter, if I do put like a black sock or something, you know, if I'm going out, I'm not going to call barefoot in these in the winter, but I probably won't wear these out in the winter anyway because I don't want to get salt on them. So ah, new shoe smell. I love them. Anyway, I think that's it. I can finally put all my black craft stuff away now that I showed everyone. It's been sitting in my office for like a week and a half waiting for you to see it so I could film it because I'm a weirdo. So that was everything. Um, come back, of course. Come back for everything. But definitely watch out for Vlogmas because in December I'm going to be doing all of my try-ons. I'm going to be ranking all of my goth shoes. I'm going to be ranking all of my goth accessories and purses. Maybe we'll even talk necklaces. And I'm doing my ring video, my goth ring video, coming up soon. I'm loving these nails for the goth ring video. So I think I need to record that before I change my nail shade because I'm loving these. In case you're wondering, notoriously morbid on my lips. Uh, I was going to wear... Um, black rainbows but i am actually wearing a new one i just got called remember nothing this is the perfect holiday green for your gothy lip needs this is one of the mystic metallics remember nothing and it has the greatest like shift to it matches this nail perfectly this foil look at that i did not plan that i was like i put it on and went oh matches my nail oh my god anyway uh remember nothing notoriously morbid my absolute favorite metallic lip products are the Mystic Metallics. I have, I just counted them. I thought I had nine, but I think maybe I have ten. I have a lot. There's a lot, and I'm getting very low on Your Savior is Here, which you cannot get anymore. It was the Loki collection, but I did get the palette, too. One, two, three, four. Yep, I have ten. I have ten of the Mystic Metallics. I am obsessed with them. If you want to invest in one really good line of metallic lip shades in all different crazy colors, blues, greens, blacks. These are your girls. Notoriously Morbid Mystic Metallics. They really need to put me on their PR list because I don't think anyone is obs as obsessed with these things as I am. I am obsessed. I'm also wearing the, uh, the topper, the glitter topper that I got in the Queens of Scream countdown a Halloween box. So there's also that. Anyway, tell me what you liked. Tell me what you want to see. Tell me your favorite shirt, whatever. But that was it. 
And uh, I think I'm going to chill on the buying from all of this stuff for a while. I unfortunately found another store online that I'm in love with. And uh, I don't know what to do because there's a dress I want so bad. Ah! Mm! I'm hoping people give, you know, family or someone like they need to give me money for Christmas. Okay. First off, I got more teeth to fix. I know they look perfect. I am loving the new teeth still. The teeth are doing great. If you're new here, I just got dental implants. I got all the crowns put on. It took a year, roughly, and it looks like I still have to get two more molars put in. So it's going to be the dental saga part two continuation, the never ending. I can't wait until I can just say my teeth are done, done, done. I'm pretty much done now, but you know. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to go put all my stuff away and I can't wait to start filming um, try-ons for everyone. I'm just very body conscious. I, I prefer when people see me from from here down or from from here down from here up and don't see anything from here down. You don't need to see from here down. Nobody wants to see that. I prefer to stay like from here on the camera. I'm really I'm really weird about try-ons. I don't know why. I just am. It's, I'm too, I'm, I've had a lifetime since I was a teenager, I've had body dysmorphia. So I am very, very self-conscious about my body. I, that's why I buy XL stuff. I'm kind of Billie Eilish in that way. I knock her about the hair, but when she was always wearing stuff covering up, that's how I am. I'm like, nobody needs to see me. I'm just going to wear big baggy stuff and not body conscious stuff and just cover up like crazy. But hopefully I can get to a place again where... I feel more comfortable letting people see anything other than from from my chest up, but I'm I'm working on I'm getting there. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Let me know which shoes you like. Let me know. I know everybody's gonna love these mules, but I honestly, these are just like the cutest. I they're crazy, but they look so cute on. These look really great with like my black leggings and stuff. They look really cool. Um, I'm going to go put my shirts away. I'm going to repack my purse and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye for now.